The second day of January, it's our second day of 365 days of reading God's Word together in community. By the way, three of my seven grandchildren are here with me. I've already seen several comments in the Talk About It section. Shout out to missionary Mike McGee uh, participating, and he's given us some powerful insights this morning regarding the fall of man in Genesis chapters 3 and 4. But we're going to now jump over to Matthew chapter 3. In those days, John the Baptist came to the Judean wilderness and began preaching. His message was, Repent of your sins and turn to God, for the kingdom of heaven is near. The prophet Isaiah was speaking about John when he said, He is a voice shouting in the wilderness, Prepare the way for the Lord's coming. Clear the road for him. It was no accident that brought about the connection of the mission of John the Baptist with the coming of the Lord. This is a divine providence, the purpose of which was declared in ancient prophecy. John the Baptist comes to open up the way for our glorious King. Such preparation for Christ was needed because the people of God, they simply weren't ready to receive their Messiah. They needed the preliminary work of the prophet in the wilderness to make them capable of receiving these new influences of the kingdom of God. The same is true for your unsaved friends and family. They will not welcome your Savior until the way has been made ready for his approach. Individual men and women that are far from the kingdom of heaven, they live in a world that's across an impossible chasm that makes God unreachable till God makes this providential path across it. John the Baptist was that providential path. And you are that providential path right now. Boiled down, the message of John the Baptist was, repent. Now, he certainly preached other messages, but he made it his aim to lead his hearers to a deep understanding of their own sin. See, until a man owns his own guilt, he's not going to even look for pardon. The reason unsaved friends and family resist the message, repent, is they have not crossed over to owning their own guilt yet. A person that's still clinging to and enjoying evil habits, they don't see Christ as a deliverer. They see him as an invader, as a thief who wants to steal their favorite things. The message will not be received as long as sin is satisfying. But every sinner will eventually come to a fork in their spiritual road. Their conscience awakes and their soul is filled with sorrow and regret. This is where you come in as the one preparing the way. Don't just preach of sin by itself. Your unsaved friends will not be motivated to repent by you trying to make them feel guilty. The message you share must, like John's message, lead them to Jesus. Lord, help me to prepare the way for my unsaved associates to see you. Amen. Hey, it's not too late. Uh, to join us in reading the Bible through, the link's in the comments section. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.